wore it very recently but it was like the second time I, I wore it this one is from Mango and it's a very beautiful kind of mustardy yellow dress with black and I think it's very beautiful it's very elegant I would say and um, I'm keeping it because it's fairly new and I think I will use it a lot more this winter I bought that one when I was in Spain and this one is also from Spain this is from Stradivarius and it's a kind of pink I see pink but maybe it's not pink with black um, this is very similar shape to the ones I'm deciding to keep for loose but um, this is more thick this is more for winter and I think I did use it last winter I remember wearing this on my first day of work when I came back from Spain. Then we have this one. It's also from Stradivarius, I think. Oh no, this is from Zara. And I also got this in Spain. It's really cute, but then again, it's that shape that I want to try with a sweater on top and just a little skirt. Just forgot about this dress. I bought this in Spain and oh my god it still has the tag on wow just totally forgot about it it's like a tweed dress really beautiful for winter and I haven't worn it yet and it's lovely Keep. I love this dress it's from H&M and I had it for like over 5 years now and I still love it so much so I'm just keeping it forever my Wednesday Adams dress oh, this is from Forever 21 I think this dress is older than me first it was my mom's then I kept it and I still wear it sometimes um, I remember I used to wear this a lot when I was younger because in my head it looked like something that Usagi would wear I'm keeping it I'm keeping everything oh my god then we have this dress which is really really beautiful and it was like it wasn't expensive but it looks very expensive um i don't know if you can see the fabric but it's um one of those things that i don't know how to call but it's not lace because i don't really like lace i do wear this often whenever i want to look formal but so not too overly dressed i wear this a lot i have many black dresses I didn't even remember I had this. <gasps> this was a gift from my friend. I remember she loved it because it has a heart on the back. It's super cute. The thing is I have many cute dresses but sometimes I don't find occasions to wear them. I should wear them just like randomly with flats or something. Because sometimes I see them and I'm like this is like too dressy and um, I'm gonna look too fancy if I go somewhere but maybe with a pair of flats and just like something like this hair it wouldn't look too fancy so this dress was a hand-me-down from my friend Lou and uh it's kind of an animal print print but uh very subtle because it's black over this black velvety texture okay last two dresses yeah we're almost done I had this since forever. It's pretty, but I think it's it has been there for over five, six years, and I've only worn it once. And I like it. I like um, this detail here, but I just don't ever wear it. And I think I have too many black dresses, so I should get rid of one at least and I think that is going to be this one this is really cute but I just don't ever wear it the last one is this kind of cute jumper that um, is kind of the same story as the older one I showed you that is probably older than me this, one, this was my mom's and now it's mine and it's really cute now, I I'm going to try to find a picture because I remember wearing this with a pink um, blouse underneath and I just, that was my Usagi outfit. So yeah, and these things are very in right now. 
It's very 90s because, well, I wore it in the 90s, but I still fit into it. And funny thing is, every time I wear this, I get many compliments. Done with the dresses. Last few pieces. Uh, these are randoms, I think, uh, like vests and maxi dresses and all that. So this first one, <laughs> then again, super wrinkled. Uh, this this cute vest from Barrel Moda, and uh, I am not a vest person, but I like this because it's really ruffly, and I just love ruffles, as you probably already know. Uh, even though it's a vest, it's really girly, and that's something I really like. So this one is like my kimono kind of thing, and this was from. Uh, one of those garage sales that I used to have with Lou. This is pretty much a hand-me-down from her as well. And um, it's really pretty. I did wear it last year um, on summer, I think. And the thing is, I want to find a cute pair of denim shorts to pair with this and maybe a white t-shirt. But I really, really like this. I did wear it. A couple of times last year and I don't want to get rid of this because I know I can wear it. Okay, from this. This is from Bershka and it's um it's like a blouse because it's not a dress. It's like a blousey dress thing. Um it's, it's cute and I've worn it a lot but it's one of those comfy clothes I don't reach out for that often anymore so I'm probably gonna have to let it go so this is like a dress well it's not really a dress it's more like a blouse a very loose blouse with it tights here and it's it looks really cute even though it's very thin i mostly wear it on winter i don't know if this looks like an old lady thing i just love it it has this uh, flowery pattern i don't know i really like it then uh, my maxi dresses and oh this is something that i love and i've worn like twice but i really really love it is these um very wide leg pants with uh, it looks pretty much like this well not this high though but this goes like around here and then it's wide leg and with then again ruffles here and um you get to pair it with a shirt or a t-shirt or a nice blouse whatever you want what i like about it is that it's not super long so i can still wear flats or not super high heels to look good wearing it i bought it a while ago i think last winter yeah, last winter, but um, I'm not getting rid of this because I really like it. And at first I was a little um, hesitant to get it because I was like, it's not my style. How am I going to um, match it? And am I going to wear it? Am I going to look good on it? But then I thought, you know what? Sometimes you like, like unique pieces, so that is a very unique piece. Why not? Okay, so my battery died and I took a break, went down to eat something while it was charging, so let's finish this. We only have a few pieces left on the side of my closet and those are the maxi dresses. So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to keep these three because I only have three and I do reach for them uh, during summertime. I, I'm not saying I live in them, but I do wear them a lot. So the first one I have is these. This is very comfortable, very cute, and I just love how whenever you don't know what to wear, you can always go for a maxi dress and uh, match it with any kind of shoes you want, depending if you want to look more casual and comfortable or a little bit more dressed up. Uh, so yeah, these are lap savers and they are also very comfortable to wear. So this is the first one. This is my oldest one. I've had this dress since forever. Like it has many, many years and it's still looking pretty good. It's very good quality, even though it was very cheap. 
and this was the first um, maxi dress that I got and even though it is uh, kind of strapless it has this thing that ties around your neck so um, it holds the dress and it's not falling down every now and then and I like it I get so many compliments when I wear this dress because it's really beautiful the way the fabric just um, folds I guess it's really nice really flowy the print is beautiful and I don't know I think this is a piece that I am not going to let go until it can be worn anymore so yeah I love this one so much and the third one is from Zara uh, this is a super beautiful dress that my mom gave me a long time ago and the thing is I love it it's really beautiful but since I am a very short person it's too long super long it doesn't matter if I wear um, platforms it's still super long on me so I am not going to let go of this but I know that I have to remember to have it fixed and of course I wouldn't wear it like this I think I would put like a tank top underneath or maybe if you go to the beach you can wear your swimsuit underneath or a bikini or a cute bralette I don't know but it's just a very very beautiful dress uh, it's very good quality the fabric is beautiful I don't know I just love it so much and I have to get it fixed because I do want to wear it I love it and now to finish this um, probably very long video um, we have this dress and yeah it is strapless but um, I'm gonna keep this and I keep this because it is the only or well, pretty much the only very dressy dress that I have uh, for I, I remember I bought it for a wedding and then I wore it on a baptism I think but you know this is the dress that I usually go for when I have like a more elegant event which doesn't happen too often but you know um, I rather keep this than having to buy or trying to find one that I actually like every time uh, the occasion comes and the thing is it has a very cute detail here and when you tie this up it kind of tightens this area and it doesn't fall that much and it looks cute I mean it's really pretty so um, yeah this is my kind of formal dress so I kind of have a little bit more of space in my closet in the side of my closet now um, it's not as tight can you see Levi back there it's a bit more um, it's less tight so yeah, there we have it. And I think we did a good job getting rid of a few things. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six, because yeah, I'm giving away these two. S what did I say? Six, seven, eight, kind of lost my count. But um, yeah. So it is the end of the video, guys. Um, Thank you so much for those who stick until the end. I know it was very long, but it was fun kind of talking through my clothes and um, just remembering some pieces that I forgot I had. Let me know if you like this kind of video so I can continue cleaning my closet with you guys and probably my shoes as well. And um, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye!